Hello, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts. Today I'm at our San Diego office on our sales dock checking out a 2007 Tierra 4300 Sovereign. She's powered by IPS 500 engines and I know both of the owners. Both of them took great care of it over its life. The last owner did quite a few updates which I'll show you as we go through it. She's held in an LLC which is very useful for uh, sales tax purposes here in California. She has the IPS 500 engine. Uh, she has a dive compressor, new electronics, but most notably she has an all grip navy blue paint job which gives you that navy blue color everyone wants on the hull, but if you'd ordered it from the factory, it would be gel coat, which would oxidize constantly. With this one, you hand wax it every now and then, and it's gonna offer years of beautiful service. Let's go ahead and check her out. Okay, here she is. This is our 2007 Tierra 4300 Sovereign. Here at the bow, we have a windless anchor with foot controls, and we have a nice bow pad that's been recovered on the bow with a white and navy striped sunbrella material. The hull has been painted in 2015 with all grip paint. They did an excellent job and the beauty of this paint is it will never oxidize so you don't have to buff this. It's a matter of hand waxing it. At the same time they redid the boot stripe. She has good bottom paint on her. Good shine up here on the gel coated areas and just a really good looking boat all in all. Here at the transom we have a Zodiac tender with a tiller steer 9.9 .9 horsepower four stroke outboard. If you notice, the davit looks a little big for this tender. This is the second owner's tender. The previous owner who bought the boat new, he kept his tender, and that was a 12-foot Carib with a uh, center console in it, much heavier tender. So this davit is capable of hauling, you know, probably a thousand pound boat. It has a really nice removable chalk system that was built by Steve DeGroote of CFAB in uh, Costa Mesa. We have a swimming ladder here. Now this davit, when it's down, it's going to go ahead and just store right in this area. We just had this off for an event and all the covers were taken off the boat and put in here. But as you can see, you have a windshield cover, seating covers, really covers for everything. And then a cover that kind of comes from the hard top back down to the back of this seating here. We have a storage locker here. As we come aboard, we have a hot and cold water shower. And we have hoses that plug in here for fresh raw water and raw water. You plug the hose in, it automatically energizes. We have switches here for raw water and underwater lights. We have new carpet. And here we are in our cockpit. Real nice large cockpit. Uh, storage underneath all the seats. On either side we have a panel, a master panel for the boat just in here. A uh, table that has uh, four cup holders in it. I'm not sure if this one has the option, but Traditionally, this table would go down, there'd be some short legs, and you could put a, a, a filler cushion on it and fill it in. Everywhere in the boat, all the speakers have been replaced with Fusion speakers, and we have a uh, 2018 model AV755 Fusion deck running everything. Here's our wet bar sink. We have a refrigerator here. Here's our helm companion seating. We have cup holders, little cocktail table that's removable. Here's our fusion head unit. So not only is it a stereo, but it can do audio and video, and you can plug in a USB to it here. We have a phone holder and three more cup holders. Here's a map case. Great views all the way around on this boat. We have a center vent that opens up. Here's our helm seat. It's electronically operated, fore to aft. There's storage below, and you have a hatch up above, which also has shade covers. Here at our helm, we have Simrad Evo 2 screens. These are 12 inches each. We have our controls here for your Volvo engines. Here's your autopilot, Fusion stereo remote. The early IPS boats did not come with the joystick right off the bat, so they also had a thruster. We have a standard Horizon radio. Beautiful Tierra destroyer wheel that's made out of mahogany and stainless steel. Here's your Volvo throttles, ignitions, 12 volt charger, EVC controller. And look at everything. I mean, your switches, everything on it is in perfect shape. As we step down into the salon, we have these teak stairs that are in immaculate condition. This boat is a two owner boat again, and both owners were adults, so no children on board. And so, as you can see, it's not dented up, dinged, or scratched. Here's our salon. 
The same goes for the table and upholstery down here. It's all really in perfect condition. This table has a separate set of legs that can go down and it converts into a rather large bed. There also is some bar stools, if you don't have this carpet down, that click in here and uh, you can all get around the table to eat. Here's your panel. Two air conditioning controls, tank monitors, and here's your um, GFI plugs. You have another storage there, storage behind, and then you have storage underneath all of these cushions here. Now the whole boat sole is made out of teak. There's actually some great storage here, um, but this owner chose to put down these mats. But uh, everywhere you see carpet, just know there's beautiful teak underneath it. Here we have uh, more AC system controls. We have our inverter. We have a Bose stereo surround sound here. And we have an updated Samsung television. Here's our galley. Full-size refrigerator freezer. Microwave up above. We have more storage here. And this is just a great galley. I mean, we have all these storage cabinets up above. We have a two burner stove top here, all of these storage cabinets below, same goes here, and all the way here. So it's really just really set up for making some good meals. Have like a little spice rack area or wine rack, however you want to call it, right here. And if you look at it, you've got this opening porthole, there's covers that go over this double sinks here, plenty of outlets, and just an expansive countertop area. Okay, moving into our midship stateroom, we have two twin beds. I believe there was an option to convert this into one large bed, and I'll have to check to see if they have the uh, filler cushions that fill that in. This area has lighting, uh, reading lights for both people. There's a Sansom television here, uh, plenty of storage. Again, this has the teak sole, but the carpet is down. We have storage underneath the bed here. We have a storage locker here and there. 12 volt, or excuse me, 110 outlets and light switches here. And here's your Sansom television. Here's our head. This is a get wet head. It has a vacuum flush toilet. Great headroom. Here's the shower and there's a shower curtain. Here's our vanity, storage below. Beautifully appointed countertops, 110 power, and we have uh, storage just here, and then a medicine cabinet up above, which also has storage. This room also has its own air conditioner. Now, you may have noticed, but the person who owns this boat really likes pillows. There's pillows everywhere, and I think this one takes the cake for the most pillows on a bed that I've ever seen. I call these foo-foo pillows. But it is a, a good sized bed. All the bedding has been redone. We have a port light up above, three storage compartments on either side of the bed. Here's a large hanging locker here with a, a bunch of canvas. I believe this boat even has a canvas awning that goes out over the cockpit, and I think it might be stored in there. Underneath the bed, we have more filler cushions and sheets and things, so a great storage area. And then we have a, a storage drawer that pulls out here. We have a Sansom television just here, AC controls, and then a really beautiful head. Medicine cabinet up above, same beautiful appointments on the countertops, storage below, flush head, and then a large shower with its own port light here. And there's a bench in there as well. So again, just a beautiful boat, in great condition, LLC owned, 723 hours, fully serviced, rebuilt pod drives, and uh, really if I could pick on one thing on this boat, it would be this, and you know, this I think will clean up. Um, and then the grain, you know, in the grain there's a little bit of, of dirt in there that just makes it look a little old. But I'm telling you, if you hit this with a little Z cleaner and a brush, I believe it'll all come out. It may just because they be because they leave it open for showings. This area right here, the stitching's kind of gone away, but it's holding together. 
and uh, it's a little sunburn, but again, I think you can get a lot of this out just by taking off that top layer. All right, let's go ahead and lift up the engine hatch and take a peek. Okay, here's our engine room. It's really clean for this boat's age, and uh, everything looks to be in good shape. Here against the forward bulkhead, we have a diesel Onan generator. We have our holding tank across the way for our vacuum flush heads. Aft of that, we have our Glen Denny shore power retracting um, apparatus, which will deploy and pull in your 50 amp shore power cord. Then we have water in the back there. We have another water tank over on this side. Here's a Junior 2 dive compressor, so you can fill up your dive tanks. These are our IPS 500 engines. They've all been serviced in December of 2018. The pods were rebuilt locally here. It has an oil change pump, and everything just looks to be in very good shape. Automatic fire suppression, battery charger, and it's really easy to get around in here with so much room. So just a very clean, tidy engine room. Alright, so that's going to wrap up our tour of this really clean 2007 LLC owned 4300 Sovereign. If you're interested in this boat or need help buying or selling a boat in the Southern California area, please don't hesitate to give me a call at 619-800-3491. My office is in Newport Beach, but I'm in San Diego a couple days a week, and I also service Marina Del Rey. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the water.